JB in a long while. Some say he's dead. I'm more fond of the taller tales that the devil slithered back to his warm and cozy domain. The Apple Vision Pro launched in the US last year at $3,499 and ushered in a new era of spatial computing. The headset was aimed at productivity and consuming media, with super slick adverts featuring beautiful people working or watching movies. Social media was flooded with pictures and videos of people wearing and using this high-end headset alongside their MacBooks and iPhones. It was absolutely crazy for about seven days, then it calmed down. Now, I don't have an Apple Vision Pro, I don't have a MacBook or even an iPhone, but I do have this, a Pico 4. The Pico 4 is a VR headset, not a spatial computer. It's designed for playing games. The LCD panels give you a nice bright screen, up to 90 hertz refresh rate and 4K resolution. The integrated battery will give you between two and a half to three hours depending on use. And the sturdy controllers take two AA batteries for many hours of gaming fun. All this amazing VR headset at a tenth of the price of an Apple Vision Pro. I'll say that again. The Pico 4 retails in the UK for £339 for the 128GB model. Less than a tenth of the price of Apple's headset. Plus, during Amazon's Gaming Week, there'll be further deals on the 120GB Pico 4. So please check the description for the links to that offer. Does it get any better than that? Well, yes, it does. If you purchase and register your Pico 4 for the 7th of July 2024, you get five free games. These include both excellent Walking Dead Saints and Sinners games, Shores of Lockie, the heart-pounding Les Mills Body Combat, and the superlative Walkabout Mini Golf. Incredible value for this great little VR headset. This is my headset, which I've had since launch, and has been slightly modified with the addition of the excellent KKCOBVR 10,000 mAh magnetic swappable battery extender, which pushes the life of the headset out to over six hours. Plus, I have these AMVR straps to stop me chucking my controllers about when playing Les Mills Body Combat. So, we have established that the Pico 4 is amazing value for money, but can it really compete with a device that costs 10 times the price? I'm going to compare the Pico 4's productivity performance, watch some media on the device, then play some games just to see if it can. Ready? Productivity first then. Hand tracking on Pico 4 is very easy and intuitive with four basic hand gestures. Close your fist, then open to bring up the on-screen user interface. Pinch to select. Form a fist to drag left, right, up and down. Then hold out your palm facing out to recalibrate. You can open the Pico browser to access your social media, streaming services and YouTube. Who is that handsome fella? The real ace of the Pico 4 sleeve as far as productivity goes is this amazing free app called Immersed. This app allows you to set up a virtual office in augmented reality with up to five screens in 4K resolution surrounding you. So if like me, you like to have music on when working, you can open up your favorite music streaming service on one screen work on editing a video with DaVinci Resolve on another, and have your Discord or other social media open on a third. The screens are scalable, can be moved wherever you require them, and can also be made massive if you want to watch a film or TV show when you need a couple of hours to chill. Media next, so what if you want to fire up your favorite streaming service like Apple, Paramount, or Disney Plus? All these apps are available on the Pico 4. Once you've logged in, you can enjoy watching your favorite shows on massive screens in incredible resolution. You can also watch spatial videos on the Pico 4 via a paid for app called Moon VR Player via the Moonlink app on your PC. Just add any spatial videos you have to the Moonlink folder and you can watch them on your Pico 4 headset. The last thing I want to talk about is the one thing that the Pico 4 absolutely blows the Apple Vision Pro out of the water and that is gaming. The Pico 4 has been designed first and foremost as a gaming device with virtual and mixed reality capabilities. The excellent, very sturdy controllers track well and give lovely haptic feedback when playing. Synth Riders on Apple Vision Pro has been described as a soulless, laggy experience due to the hand tracking and lack of haptics. Playing Synth Riders on the Pico 4 is a completely different experience. Peerless tracking and positive haptics via the controllers. It's just a completely different experience and holds the Pico 4 head and shoulders above the Apple Vision Pro for pure gaming. So, in conclusion, the 128GB Pico 4 costs just £339 in the UK. 
one tenth the price of the Apple device. You get five very good games absolutely free when you register the headset. It can do productivity, it can play all your favorite streaming services, and with a few choice upgrades like the KKCO BVR swappable magnetic battery pack, can extend the battery life beyond six hours of gaming or office working. I honestly think that the Pico 4 is currently an absolute bargain VR headset with excellent screens, very comfortable at an incredible price point. Plus, with the Amazon Gaming Week on the horizon, you may get an even better bargain. So don't forget to check the links in the description down below. So what do you think? Are you going to invest in a Pico 4? Are you already invested in the Apple ecosystem? Are you going to fork out for the much more expensive Apple Vision Pro when it launches in Europe? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. Plus, if you enjoyed this content, you could join my channel membership like these lovely people did. You get custom badges, emojis, and an exclusive members-only channel on my Discord. If you want to watch more content from my channel, you can click here or here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.